Come on, Chris. You're gonna have to excuse my appearance this morning. Let me just say that first of all. <laughs> I've just woke up, hence why I look like this. I realized I look absolutely crazy. Like you probably clicked on this video and you're like, Hannah, are you okay? Half of my hair is like out. <laughs> Half of my hair is in this. Um, my skin is breaking out so much at the minute, but that is life. So we just, we move, we go with it. I wanted to show you guys this hair hack, which I'm sure you've probably all seen on TikTok anyway. But I wanted to show it you in case you've not tried it because it actually genuinely does work. So I slept in this last night. As you can see, I've taken this side out and you literally just wrap your hair around it. So you just start with a little piece and then just add pieces as you go until it's all wrapped around. Tie it with a bubble and just sleep in it. My hair wasn't wet or anything like that. It had been washed like a day before and <laughs> i was taking this out because i was obviously going to take this out before i actually started this video because it does look a bit crazy but then i was like Do you know what i've never actually shown this on camera or the fact that like it really does work so i'm gonna take this side out now but it just gives you like really cute like loose curls that's my hair done and i've slept in it and it's like just like the cutest like most perfect curls so anyway good morning i've kind of been thinking about what i want to film and what i wanted to film today um and put up and everything else and i just thought like a really nice like chilled but productive vlog might be a nice thing to post um so i'm just gonna bring you guys along throughout the day with me yeah i want to declutter my makeup collection today so we're gonna go through that and attempt to do that together which is a little bit of a mess right now and i also I think I'm going to cook like a really nice dinner later. I know something um, that I want to cook that I know I've not cooked on my channel before. And I've actually not really cooked it at all before. So it should be interesting. I do need to make some breakfast and brush my teeth is what I've not done yet today. So I'm going to do that now. Crumpet tea block in my light here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hannah's having a bit of crumpet with her butter. Okay. Pops is in the background. He's like he's, um, he's crashing your he's vlog. Like here. <laughs> <laughs> the best breakfast in the world is crumpets. Right. I think I'm just gonna do like some really light natural makeup. Just so I've got something on because I feel like because my skin's breaking out, I'm just really conscious of it and I just want to feel a bit more confident and I feel like there's nothing wrong with putting a bit of concealer on, covering up any blemishes and getting on with the day. So I think I'm going to do that before anything else. I think I also might just put my eyebrows on <laughs> as well. It's always a really weird thing to do. I'm just going to use this like spoolie on this brow pencil just to brush through these lashes i literally cannot remember the last time i didn't have lashes on now it's going to be so weird not getting these infilled because obviously we're in lockdown i'm gonna to have to buy some strip lashes the thing is though so you guys know i'm cruelty free and i don't wear mink lashes um and my favorite lashes that are full mink are the backstage beauty rodeo drive lashes they have been out of stock since march I think I actually DM'd them on Instagram the other day to be like, guys, like, are you restocking these because they're literally my favourite lashes ever? And they were like, yeah, like, we're still here. We just haven't had stock because of COVID. Um, so I need to find some good faux mink lashes. If anyone can recommend any, I like a cat eye and I like something that's like wispy and not plasticky looking. If that makes sense. I feel like I need to bring out like my own lashes or something. Because I'm so fussy with strip lashes. Um, and I just think it's really hard to find like actually good faux mink ones. I know Unicorn Cosmetics do faux mink. I know Lily Lashes do faux mink. But then it's also a case of like they also do like actual mink lashes. And then I don't really know if I should be using a brand that does real mink lashes as well as faux mink lashes. If that makes sense. Like Backstage Beauty, all of their lashes... I want to say are faux mink so they're completely cruelty free. I need to find some good strip lashes if anyone can recommend any. Also I feel like my microblading has definitely 
faded a little bit so far from getting the laser treatment i feel like it's really not as noticeable as it used to be that's something i need to do again when we can actually get stuff like that done is get my laser tops up i feel like it has definitely made a bit of a difference though i'm just gonna spot conceal all of these little friends <laughs> that i've got on my face i mean it's getting a bit out of hand now i'm not gonna lie it's getting quite rude at this point but it is what it is oh it's just reminded me actually i've got i ordered some like vitamins off what did I see it on? Maybe I saw it on like an Instagram ad. I am such a sucker for an Instagram ad. I don't know about anyone else. Yeah, oh my God. So I ordered these pills, supplements, skincare, vitamins from the Anti-Acne Club. I don't know if anyone's tried this brand before. Um, basically like is a similar thing to what I take when I take the hormonal balancing pills because that's what these are. Because a lot of like breakouts are hormonal and I feel like that's why I get breakouts when I'm not on my pill because I've not been on my pill for like probably nearly a year now. It's actually been quite a while. If I ever spot conceal like this, really random, um, I always let the concealer like dry down as much as it possibly can before it needs blending out. I am going to do this one as well, but I popped that spot this morning <laughs> and I'm kind of like, I always get funny about putting like product on like freshly broken skin even though i feel like it has healed over a bit now also just gonna put on a little bit of fenty gloss balm this is the shade glass slipper it's just like the clear one i cannot live without this gloss anymore like i'm obsessed with it okay and that is natural makeup for the day done and like natural hair as well i guess which i basically just slept in so that was done the minute that i got up i think i'm going to am i gonna declutter my makeup in this video that's kind of something that i wanted to do today which is quite a big job but i really want to declutter my makeup i also want to just declutter this whole room like i want to go through like under my bed um, these drawers and just like sort out everything that has to go because i really want to redo this room like something that i want to talk to you guys about actually whilst we're here so obviously i've always used this as like my backdrop and my setup and i always have the fairy lights on and i feel like the fairy lights just make the video look really cute because like they're blurry in the background and everything else but i just feel like i just want the fairy lights gone but i'm like is that just gonna make the backdrop look really boring in my videos do you know what i mean like i'm kind of tempted to actually move this bed i'm gonna take the headboard off i think and just see what it looks like without the headboard which probably sounds like a really weird thing to do but again the headboard of this bed the fact that it's like crushed velvet and it's got like the like diamantes in it was cute when like I, I moved back home when i was like 19 but i feel like i just i'm not with it anymore like i just don't i don't like it i'm tempted to actually put my bed in the middle of the room like this way and see what that looks like but I don't actually know if it'll fit or, le or like be actually like functional to use because um, I don't know, I feel like it'll take up like the majority of the space in the room. I don't know, I just want to mix things up. Does anyone ever get like this? I feel like I always get like this at the start of a new year as well. Like I just want a fresh start with everything. Like I really just want to feel like I've had a fresh start with things. Literally all these drawers are just... I need to just go through because a lot of this stuff will be expired now and I just won't have actually made the efforts been here. Um, so yeah, I still need to try these actually. I bought these from Holly's brand, HMB Cosmetic. Also, this, oh my god, I need advice on this. So, this like tower of um, lipsticks, like I've had this in my room for the longest time. I also want to take these bits down as well now and like redo the prints and stuff in my room. But these um, lipsticks, so I've had them for the longest time because that was like my first initial lipstick collection when I worked at MAC and I collected so many lipsticks. I used so much of my discount on lipsticks because I really wanted to build up like a full MAC lipstick collection. I feel like, I remember like the days when that used to be a video as well and you literally do like a lipstick collection from MAC. So I have all these lipsticks now that all expired. I probably haven't touched one in about two years. Like I'm not even joking. I feel like, I, I feel like they need to be binned 
but at the same time i'm like i don't want to bin them also a big shout out to jordana if you're watching this um so she actually sent me a bunch of products as like a top up because she knows that i really really love the base and sparkles which shade is it that i usually use it might be iconic oh, i'm not sure actually but i've got a couple of these already they're just like really cute like creams with um like powder like almost they're not glitters which is why i like them because they're not chunky they're just like a really finely milled sparkle um but yeah she sent me a bunch of the highlighters as well which these look so pretty it's a very similar concept in the sense that it's like a cream if i can open one. Oh my gosh that's really hard to do with one hand but yeah it's like a cream and then a powder highlighter quite chunky packaging but i'm excited to try these and see them see what they're like got some glosses we've got some powder highlighters and powder blushes so yeah that's just reminding me because i unboxed all of this yesterday big thank you to georgiana this is probably the messiest drawer at the minute this is all of my lip products and again i'm just going to be so brutal with this i'm going to show you guys everything at the end and do like a little updated mini makeup collection but i've been so ruthless with everything so i'm going to keep that same energy with this and try and get rid of anything that i don't think i'm going to use that can be um i don't know given to friends and family at a later date or just bin it all um instead so this is the in fact no this isn't the last drawer we've got this drawer and then i've also got all of these palettes don't mind my toes <laughs> This is how we're looking. Hello. <laughs> I really wanted to like reduce my brush collection as well because I just have so many brushes that I don't use and I really just want to declutter like everything about this room so it's just like a clean slate. So I've just popped my like eye brushes and my like less used brushes in here and then I've got my main brushes there. Got my like sponges and things in that and then I've got oh sorry <laughs> got these two free now in terms of makeup so i have my skincare drawer here which i do need to do again a little bit i actually did this quite recently so i've not touched that today uh, but yeah just like moisturizers eye creams setting sprays like anything skin wise that's not makeup is in there and then i managed to really like cut this down quite a bit so i've got mini palettes and like quads at the back pigments um colored liners and liquid um liners and that kind of thing brows which is very empty now but to be fair i don't actually use a lot of brow products other than like my brow pencil so i do want to try like a good new drugstore brow pencil as well but i've got some room there to fill that up mascaras and like my more typical used liners and then pigments and all of that good stuff so i've got all my um jordana pigments in there now as well and then i'm so much happier with this oh my god like i can't tell you guys how much it makes a difference just looking in this drawer and just seeing that it's clean and organized <laughs> like i am such a person where everything just has to have a home and has to be organized like it stresses me out otherwise so i've got lip liners at the bottom just some makeup wipes there all of my Charlotte Tilbury and then um, just like other random like lipsticks here and then I've got liquid lipsticks that is what this um like column is and then all of my Jordana lip glosses um other just like random lip glosses and then again that is random lip glosses and then these are like lip balms and lip plumpers and just like more like tinted lip oils if that makes sense so not like lip glosses i've got a little line of fenty here some of the some of my like lip products have enough to be like their own like column so fenty and charlotte tilbury have got their own and then right at the end is just like lip treatments so lip oils lip balms and um, that's like a little lip balm as well and then my palettes thank god again 
are drastically reduced. It doesn't look like I've taken that many out, but I really have for me. <laughs> and then this drawer is looking a lot cleaner to what you saw before. Just um, This is just bronzes, blushes, and then highlighters right at the end. So I've got a little bit of room to add more products in as well. And then again, popped my new Jordana products there. These are quite bulky. That's the only thing. But I am excited to try them, so I've kept two of them there for now. I basically went through all the Jordana products as well and kept the bits that I felt that I would use. And then the bits that aren't my shade or I feel like I won't use, I've put them in the bag to give away. This drawer, again, is looking a lot tidier. Um, I've just got all my like loose powders here, my HMB ones that I'm still yet to try. I'm honestly such a nightmare. I need to do like a, first in like a full face to first impression soon or something. Um, we've got like palettes, that kind of thing. And then this is my like complexion drawer, which again has been drastically reduced. <laughs> so we've got primers, um, those are all my concealers now, so not too many at all. Obviously, probably still quite a few for um, some people. And then we've got foundations here, which again, I've really, really cut down on. Anything that was expired or I felt like just had to go has gone and then these are all my like cream bronzers and clean cream blushes if i can speak i'm gonna move on to what am i gonna do next maybe these drawers and also under my bed i'm gonna try and just do it all today because i feel like i'm the sort of person once i start doing like quite a big job like this like that's just taking me quite a while to do i have to just do everything and just get the whole thing done so i'm gonna do the rest as well i don't know if this is like interesting to watch or not i feel like I don't know if you're like me and you really like organizing stuff then hopefully it will be but yeah i'm just having a day of like clearing out that is the poa <laughs> excuse the fact that it is later and now basically dark outside um i've literally spent like the past couple of hours just clearing this room i've decided i'm gonna get rid of the lipsticks in the little tower which obviously they were all like matte and YSL lipsticks anyway so I didn't use them like like as I said they expired a long time ago so I didn't use them I just kept them there because I felt like they looked cute and obviously that was like that was like my first ever collection of lipsticks I would say like was that was the first time I like really spent money on products was when I was collecting MAC lipsticks and um, some of like the YSL ones as well and I don't know I'm like sad to be getting rid of them suddenly I'm gonna save the MAC ones because I can give them to like my auntie or someone and obviously they can be like back to MAC. I'm pretty sure MAC still does back to MAC where you, I think you're taking six lipsticks I wanna say it is. I think I'm gonna keep these ones and I'm also gonna keep my very first lipstick, which that's not gonna wanna focus, is it? You might just be able to see it there if anyone's got really good eyesight. But this was my first ever lipstick that I bought from MAC, which was Creme Corp. I'm pretty sure it was my first one, or it was the first lipstick that I really remember like really, really loving. So I actually am gonna keep that because I have a little like collection right at the back of my lipstick drawer here. Sorry, I need to put the light on, it's so dark. But just like bits of makeup, like for example, the Cinderella collection and stuff like that, I just put those right at the back. like. That's an Ariana Grande lip gloss. Um, just like little bits of makeup that are more of like a keepsake thing for me. I just keep there that aren't used. But yeah, I suddenly feel sad that I'm getting rid of all of these. I don't know why. Like it's probably going to sound so stupid that I'm even like <laughs> bothered about binning them. I don't know. It just like I remember buying those lipsticks when I was first starting out and I literally saved week after week after week to like buy a MAC lipstick. Even the fact that I got a job at MAC, that was literally like such a big deal like such a huge deal that was like a dream of mine at the time and now i'm suddenly like i don't know <laughs> getting rid of all these lipsticks it probably sounds like absolutely ridiculous but i'm kind of sad to be letting them all go i think i'm gonna save i'm gonna keep hold of this and give it to like a charity shop when they open back up because i'm sure someone will make use of it or if any of you guys want it then let me know it needs a bit of a clean actually it's really difficult to clean this. That's another reason that I just want to get rid of it now. Just got everything out to make dinner. So I'm going to do um, some like vegan Greek style chicken flatbread. Sorry, I've got hiccups. <laughs> um, so I bought these flatbreads from Sainsbury's. So I'm going to give these a go. We've got the Vivera plant chicken tenders. Um, 
some Oatly Greek style yogurt to do the tzatziki. And then I'm gonna try and do like a Greek style salad with some like feta, olives. Um, I've got some red onion as well. Just some like bits of lettuce, lettuce and cucumber. Sorry, I've got really bad hiccups. Got the tzatziki, which I forgot to get mint for, so that's annoying. Bit of salad, and then olives can go on the table. Mm. And the flatbreads are heating up. Literally looks so much more just peaceful and, I don't know, just decluttered in here now. Just got my candles on. I think this one was a gift from management. I've never heard of this brand before, but this candle smells so good and you really don't have to burn it for like a long time. Sorry, it's gone really dark. The only thing is, is that they're very smoky. Like, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but they're very, very, very smoky, these candles. Um, and it's kind of what ends up making like the corners of the room like really stained. Sorry, this camera is struggling. Also got some new bits from Boo Avenue, which I'm excited to wear tomorrow. Just got some really cute sets and I got a little package from House of CB of some bits that I actually ordered in November. <laughs> so the fact that they've only just come is a bit crazy, but I'm excited to open that tomorrow. I'm gonna remove these bits of makeup and get a quick shower, I think. Oh, something else that also arrived today, which I'm really excited about. Um, this came from Amazon before, so it's just a like 2021 um, planner, which I actually did buy one of these <laughs> for last year. I found it in my drawer before when I was like cleaning stuff out because it literally hadn't been touched and I'm really determined to not do the same this year. I mean, obviously last year didn't go how anyone expected it to go anyway. So I feel like that's probably why I just never got around to filling it out. But yeah, I got this off Amazon. I'll link it down below if you're interested. It's just a really cute like planner. It's got 2021 on the bottom. Um, and it's literally just like every single month has a spread like so with the full month. And then you can also like drop down um, a little bit on each day as well. So I think I'm gonna try and fill a bit of that out tonight Maybe just been editing this video back like sorry. I feel like this camera's really low I need to like prop you up on something. All right, that's better <laughs> I was literally like crouching then to like get in the shot. Yeah, I've just been editing this video back and I just cannot get used to my teeth like really random but it's literally all i could think about as i was watching this video back and it's actually causing me stress <laughs> um i just cannot get used to my teeth like this i actually did have an appointment for two days ago to go to my old dentist yeah i actually had an appointment with him to go and get my teeth like changed back because i just cannot get used to my teeth like this i've seen a lot of you guys say the same that you just like prefer my old teeth i totally prefer my old teeth now as well i feel like they almost look better in person but on camera they're just really really noticeable and they just look really bulky in my mouth and it's just like causing me stress now it's i feel like it's all i see when i edit videos back um which is so annoying and i don't regret getting it done because had i not done it then i wouldn't know <laughs> as with anything in life i feel like the fact that my skin is breaking out as well it's just like <laughs> i don't know everything's just making me feel a bit like not great about myself at the minute and i don't know i feel like that is totally normal obviously as well it's such a first world problem like it's really not the end of the world my skin will get better i can change my teeth back like it's all absolutely fine but does anyone else i don't know just have those days where you just feel a bit like I'm just not feeling myself at the minute. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just I'm really just not feeling myself. I also like I've just not been eating healthy at all recently. Like I cooked that dinner before, which was like a relatively healthy dinner to be fair. Um, but I've been eating so many like bagels, crumpets, just like buttered stuff, like toasted buttered shit <laughs> is basically what my diet is and all of that needs to stop because I feel like it's all just contributing to me just feeling like not great. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Just in case anyone else feels the same at the minute and it's just like not really feeling themselves or like 
is not feeling the most confident i am that i'm like right there with you is what i'm saying i'm just not feeling like super confident about myself right now but it's how things go and you know yeah <laughs> i'm gonna use a little bit of my ren ready steady glow tonic i cannot live without this product like it's so good i'm happy with today though i mean i feel like it's been a productive day and i'm gonna order some new furniture for this room like i said i just want to redo like everything about this room and just make it a really like fresh new space because I feel like my room's been like this obviously since I moved home which is absolutely fine like I, I love this room and I have such a beautiful bedroom like I'm so lucky but I feel like it's time for a change and it's time to just like make it a new space now but yeah I think I'm gonna get a shower get into bed and maybe fill a few pages of this out and just like try and organize some content for the month I love how like there's all this space on the bed and Crunchy always has to be like right there. Like literally right there. And it's always like pretty much in the middle. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so I just got a shower and just got into bed. I didn't actually end up washing my hair because... I was feeling lazy and it's really late now. Anyway, just been editing this video so that it can go up in the morning for you guys. So I really hope you've all enjoyed watching. It's been a good day. I feel like it's been a good productive Saturday. I'm ready to have like a nice cozy Sunday tomorrow and just like clean my room, wear PJs all day and that's pretty much it so i hope you've all enjoyed let me know what videos you would like to see coming up i don't know why my, why have i got my arm in the air like this i actually don't know it's half two and i'm actually delirious and i need to go to sleep so let me know what videos you want to see going forward i would love to know and yeah i hope you all have a lovely sunday and i will see you in the next one